Hello everybody, it's Gaz here from EnglishWithGaz.com. How are you doing today? Thanks a lot for joining me. Today, I'd like to talk about the word knows and vocabulary connected to the word knows. This is an interesting subject for me because as you can see, I've got quite a big snout. I haven't written that down, but there's a little bit of slang for you. We can call a nose a snout, like a pig. So, let's get started. Let's look at some common nouns connected to the nose. So here we are. Number one would be our nostril. This, we have two nostrils, these rather. We have two nostrils. This is where we breathe in and out, nostril. Number two is the bridge. Everybody has a bridge on their nose. That's the part here, right in the middle. I hate turning profile, but I'll show you. My bridge is quite big, quite pronounced. So this is called the bridge of the nose. Number three, nasal hair. We all get hair in our nose. Well, if you're a man, you get hair in your nose. I'm not quite sure if women get lots of nasal hair, but that's what we call it, nasal hair. You could just call it nose hair. Everybody would understand, but the correct word is nasal. Number four is a nose bleed. Maybe when you were younger, you were a child, you experienced this. It seems to happen more in children for no reason, or maybe you're just busy picking your nose as a child and your nose starts bleeding. We call it a nose bleed. This is here as a noun, um, but also there's another use of a nose bleed as a noun, which isn't like this. For example, I like to watch football and if you end up getting a ticket to a very difficult game, often it won't be a great seat. For example, it might be very high up in the stands. Well. We often refer to seats like this as being a nosebleed ticket or a nosebleed seat, just because you're so high up that it makes you feel like your nose is going to bleed from the altitude of being so high and so far away from the action, from the football. Number five is a nosy parker. This is a noun, very British noun. Uh, we use this to describe somebody who's basically just being nosy. Nosy is also an adjective, let's deal with that now. Um, so to be nosy, as you might guess, just means to put your nose into somebody else's business uh, where it's not wanted, usually. So a nosy parker is somebody who is always nosy. Sorry, I'm not sure if you can see that there, nosy. So a nosy parker, somebody who's always nosy. I'll just come back over here. And two more. Nouns, uh, nouns, excuse me, connected to the nose. We've got a bogey, what an American would call a booger. In British English, we call it a bogey. You know, those dry bits of snot that get stuck in your nose and make it difficult to breathe. So we've got a bogey and snot. Let's take a look at some verbs connected to the nose. Now you'll notice not all of these words are always about the actual nose. The language is very abstract. So for example, nose bleed in the example I gave you is nothing to do with the nose, but it's how the language works. Um, so let's look at verbs. We've got sniff, you know, if you've got a cold and you've got a <laughs> sniff, you know, my son right now, he's, he's got a cold and he's always sniffing. It's, it's very irritating to hear somebody sniffing. So if somebody's always sniffing, you tell them, hey, go and blow your nose, please, because I don't want to hear you sniffing away. And number three, if you've got many nasal hairs, then the way to get rid of them is to pluck them or pull them in the same way that uh, women, more so than men, um, pluck their eye brows to make them look tidy. So we pluck our nasal hair. Again, if you're full of cold, you might be sniffing and also you may uh, <coughs> sneeze. So the verb is to sneeze. Um, if you've got or if you had a nosebleed, the chances are that's because you were picking your nose. Um, and the last one here is nose dive. Um, it's, a, it's a verb which contains, contains the word nose. Nose dive just means to go down very, very fast. So I hate to give this example, but I will give it anyway. At the time of recording, um, with what's happening in the world, we could say that the world's economy is nose diving even there in the present continuous. Uh, it's happening right now. So nosedive, to go down very fast. You think of, a, of an aeroplane 
um, if it you know if it has to make an emergency landing, maybe because it's nose diving and it has to control that and uh, and then land. Um, here's a phrasal verb for you to nose about. Um, as you can maybe guess, nose about means to look around to try to find something. So a police officer may nose about or nose around, about, around. They're both uh, interchangeable. They really mean the same thing. Basically just to look for something. So a police officer may nose around, nose about looking for evidence. And um, I'll just move over here now. To finish, we've got three idioms connected to the nose. The first one is to look down your nose at somebody. So if you have a high opinion of yourself, you may accidentally find yourself looking down your nose at somebody who maybe isn't as intelligent as you or as attractive as you um, or whatever. Pick the reason why you think you're better than them. But if we do that, then we are looking down our nose at somebody or something, you know, it doesn't have to be a person. It could be an object like a car, for example. Here you are, darling, I've bought you a brand new car. It's a Renault Clio. I don't like French cars. All right, sorry, I'll buy you a Ferrari next time. I don't like Italian cars either. All right, all right, I'm sorry. Um, no need to look down your nose. I'm just trying to be nice. I mean, as if I'm gonna have enough money to buy my wife a car, a Ferrari, of course. But there we go, you get the idea to look down your nose at somebody. Uh, the second idiom I've got for you is to smell a rat. Um, or we could say something smells fishy. They both mean the same thing. To smell a rat means that something doesn't seem right. You are suspicious of what's happening. Um, so smell a rat or smell something fishy. And the last idiom I've got for you today is to put uh, his or her, change the pronoun, nose out of joint. So if you put somebody's nose out of joint, it means that you offend somebody. It's really that simple. So, um, you know, my husband bought me a Ferrari. I can't believe it. He really put my nose out of joint. All right. Um, so there we go. My wife is awesome. She would never, never say anything like that, of course. So there we go. Thank you uh, very much for watching. What I will do now is I'll put all of this into text and I'll pop it in the description below the video. If you did enjoy this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel where I bring you videos like this each week as well as my weekly vlog and other videos to help you improve speaking English. Um, and also I do offer one-on-one -on -one English teaching lessons. So if you're interested in that, you should check out my website, which is English with Gaz, that's me, Gaz, G A Z, English with Gaz.com for more information. Thanks again, all the best, and take care. Bye bye.